Annyeonghaseyo, Chinggu! Hello, friends! Hello, playmates! It's Saturday once again and it's 2 p.m. Welcome to another ASP Play Day activity where we learn, we engage, and have fun. So let's all have fun today, playmates. But first, let me call on my co-host, Kuya Sinin. O, mag ka naman dyan, Kuya Sinin. Annyeonghaseyo! Hello, hello po at masayang Sabado sa ating lahat. Uy, nag-uumpisa na ang tag-ulan. Good dahil mas presko na yung hangin natin ngayon. Huwag lang pong dumating ang mga bagyong malalakas. The Philippines is located along the Typhoon Belt in the Pacific. This is why our country is visited by an average of 20 typhoons every year. Imagine that. Kaya sanay na sanay na tayo mga Pinoy sa mga ulan at bagyo. May mga go bags na ba tayo? Oo oh, nga. Saan ko nga ba nilagay yung go bags kong yan? Nako, after the hot weather, here comes the rainy season naman. The rains, I welcome the rains not only because uh, magiging cool yung weather natin, but because I do not have to water my plants. Uh, uh, di ba? So, happy na mga plants ko. Happy pa ako kasi nakatipid ako ng tubig. Ngayon, teka, baka kung saan mapunta ang ating usapan. Ano? Balik tayo sa ituturo natin for today. You might be wondering why we are teaching a Korean dish. Bakit nga ba, Kuya Sinin? Ang dahilan, eh, wala lang. <laughs> Kasi di ba, we, al we already featured Filipino, Mexican, American, and Italian food. Why not Korean? We have been introduced to Korean culture through their movies, music, and food. And we love things that are Korean like their cosmetics and clothes. And of course, the BTS. Sino ba sa inyo ang mga armies dyan? Oh, Taas-taas ang kamay, mga mamis. <laughs> At sino sa inyo ang nanonood ng K-dramas? Sigurado ako, madami. Many Korean national like it here in the Philippines for several reasons and have decided to stay here to do business. Oh, true. You mentioned a while ago na marami sa Malate, di ba? And maybe in other parts of the Philippines as well. Pero here in Angeles City, we have a place what the, that we call Korean Town, where you see rows and rows of Korean restaurants, groceries, beauty salons, mga karaoke bars, schools, ayan, kitang-kita. So if you are looking for something Korean, they, you will definitely find it in the Korean Town there in Angeles City. Now, um, so it was fairly easy for me to get the ingredients that we needed for this gimbap. Wow, Eddie, ang daming Korean dyan sa Angeles. Ay, marami. At marami sa mga taga rito ang naimpluensyahan na ng Korean culture. At kasali na po ako doon. I often serve Korean-inspired food at home and loves watching Korean dramas too. Kami din. <laughs> Filipinos love anything Korea-related. Tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, Korean music, Korean fashion, Korean dramas, at syempre yung Korean food. Who would think that Filipinos will love kimchi, bulgogi, bingsu, and ever popular sanggipsal? Pati na din yung mga side dishes nila na madalas ay unlimited. Mabubusog ka na kahit yun lang kain mo, di ba? Ang sarap, nakakagutom. Daming masarap na Korean food. Ikaw, Mami Peng, anong favorite mong Korean dish? Thank you, Kuya Sinin. I'm Mami Peng and my favorite Korean dish is dolsot bibimbap. What about you, Kuya Sinin? Thank you, Mami Peng. My name is Kuya Sinin. My favorite Korean food is Sanggupsal. What about you, Kuya Gio? Thanks, Sir Senate. Gio is my name. Hot pot is my favorite Korean dish. Min Kim, how about you? Thanks, Parin Gio. My name is Kendi. My favorite Korean dish is Japchae. How about you, Andrea? Thanks, Kenrick. My name is Andrea. My favorite Korean dish is Samyutsal. How about you, Miguel? Thanks, Andrea. My name is Miguel. My favorite Korean food is Bibimbap. How about you, Rob? Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you. So, guys, my name is Rob. So, my favorite Korean food is Dudon. So, what about you, friends? 
My name is Sam Joseph. My favorite Korean dish is bulgogi. Taya, how about you? Thank you, Franz. My name is Taya. My favorite Korean dish is soft tofu. It's too. How about you, Tigre? Yeah, my name is Anjusi Great. My favorite my favorite Korean food is a hot dog. How about you, Joshi? Hey, Sigrid. My name is Joshi. My favorite Korean food is yokboki. What about you, Patrick and Angelo? What is hey, your Joshi. My Hi. name is Patrick. My favorite Korean dish is bibimbap. What about you, Angelo? Thanks, Pat. My name is Angelo. My favorite Korean dish is Korean fried chicken. What about you, Christian? Thank you, Patrick and Angelo. Hello, my name is Christian. My favorite Korean dish is bulgogi. How about you, Ray? Thank you, Kuya Christian. Hello, guys. My name is Ray from ASP Angolo. And my favorite Korean dish are bibimbap and gimbap. How about you, Kuya Calvin? It, what is your favorite Korean dish? Thanks, Ray. My name is Calvin. My favorite Korean dish is Korean fried chicken. Adrian, what is your favorite dish? Thanks, Kuya. No, Calvin. Nothing. Hi. My name is Adrian. My favorite dish is Korean ice cream. Or Melona. Mateo. Yeah. What is your favorite Korean dish? Ingay tayo. Thanks, Kuya Adrian. At yung ako mo. What is my name? My favorite Korean dish is black bean noodles. How about you, Fiona and Jaden? Thank you, Mate. My name is Fiona and this is Jaden. Our favorite Korean dish is Korean dips. Back to you, Kuya Sinin. Thank you, Fiona and Jaden, and thank you, Playmates, for sharing your favorite Korean dishes. I know you are all excited to learn how to make kimbap. Bigyan natin ng maikling introduction ng teacher natin ngayon. She is a graduate of food technology from the University of Santo Tomas. She loves to bake and cook and likes coming up with the healthy recipes for her family. Aside from serving Autism Society Philippines as a trustee for several terms, her other favorite ro role is that of a mother to Patrick and Angelo. Waymates, let's welcome our very own Mommy Peng. So, let's give her a warm way the applause. Hi, hello, Mommy. hello. Annyeong. Mukha na ba akong Korean? <laughs> Nag-effort si Mommy Peng para magmukha ang Korean. Ano? Kunwari, hindi pa ako Korean. Uh, may Chinese blood po tayo. Okay? And Chinoy! Okay. Anyway, uh, happy to be here, mga playmates, to teach you something very easy, very simple to make. Why did I choose gimbap? Kasi po, madali siyang gawin. Unlike the other dishes na kailangan nating lutuin. At napaka-versatile niya kasi pwede mong palit-palitan yung feeling inside. Okay? But first, um, May mga videos kami ipapakita ni Kuya Sinin. Kuya Sinin, can you show the first video, please? Ayan po yung gimbap natin. Uh, kung makikita nyo, very colorful siya, di ba? Kasi dami-dami niyang iba-ibang feeling ng gulay at meat. Tapos, uh, nilagay po rin siya sa baonan kasi usually, yung gimbap, binabaon ng mga estudyante sa school. So, that is what we're going to make today. And I bet you, sigurado, sure na sure ako, kayang-kaya ninyong gawin yan. Okay? O, oh, di ba? Ang colorful ng gimbap natin. Okay, the first thing we do to make gimbap is to prepare all of our ingredients. Let's watch the videos. For our second video, we're going to show you the ingredients and how I arrange them. Pinakita na natin to sa inyo. This is the gimbap proper I, I bought. It's a roasted seaweed. Roasted na po siya. And then I arranged the ingredients this way para madaling uh, gumawa mamaya. Of course, the bamboo mat under and over it is your gim or the seaweed. And of course, our seasoned rice. So these are the ingredients for our gimbap. 
Okay, pwede na nating panoorin yung susunod na video now. Ang next video natin ay kung paano tayo mag assemble na tayo ng ating gimbap. Okay? And along the way, I will giving you I will be giving you some tips uh, on the kind of rice that you need to use and uh, the feeling that you can uh, use as well. Okay? Paano natin ilalagay yung rice? First, what I want you to do later is to divide your rice into four. Okay? Apat po. Kasi ako, nagkulang yung rice ko. Kasi hindi ko dinivide. So, uh, we have to be smarter this time. Divide natin into four mamaya. And at lahat ng filling natin, divide it into four also. Okay? Yung iba, kung three cups of rice lang ang ginamit, divide it into three. Parang nag-aalat ako ng one cup of rice per gimbap. So, if you notice, pinipress ko lightly ang rice, in-spread ko. Pero, kung makikita nyo, dun sa taas, hindi ko nilagyan, di ba? Yung itaas na part, hindi ko nilagyan. So, ngayon, yung lower part lang. Mga 1 inch siguro yon hindi o yung lalagyan ng rice yon Tapos, spread nyo lang yung rice nyo. Actually, medyo napakapal yung rice ko dyan. You can do a, a thinner rice, yung medyo kita yung loob. Okay. So that's how we do it. Tapos medyo press a little bit lang para hindi masira yung grains ng ating rice. Press nyo ng konti para dumikit siya. And then, dun sa taas na part, we can put either water, a little bit of water mamaya before we roll it para dumikit. Or, get a few grains of rice. Yun ang magiging pandikit natin mamaya para dumikit yung wrapper dun sa wrapper ulit. Okay? So, okay, that's uh, that's the first step that we're going to do. Yun lang po muna. Do not do anything else. Okay? Di ba yung wrapper nyo parang ganito? If you look at your wrapper, I don't know what kind you bought. Okay? If you bought the Japanese uh, kind, hindi ako sure kung meron siyang shiny at saka hindi shiny part. Tignan nyo yung mga wrapper ninyo kung may shiny. Yung shiny part should be sa baba. Para pag ni-roll nyo, shiny yung labas ng gimbap nyo. So, yung, hindi, yung medyo dal ang color, dun sa itaas. Yun ang lalagyan natin ng rice. Tapos, if you look, look at your wrapper, may mga wrapper kasing rectangular, may wrapper na square. Seaweed roll pala. Okay? Yung mga seaweed sheets na yan, merong rectangular, merong, merong ano. Now, if you look at my seaweed sheet dito, meron siyang lines. Look at yours. Tignan nyo. Kung makikita nyo kung merong lines, yung lines na yon dapat ganyan siyang nakapatong sa table nyo. Kung baga, pag niroll nyo siya para kayong may guide kung saan kayo magkakat ng ano. In that way, pahaba yung inyong gimbap. Longer. Now, if you do decide to do it otherwise, dapat pare-pareho na lang. Kasi na-realize ko, nung ginawa ko yung akin, merong mahaba, merong maikli, hindi ko pala napansin na uh, medyo rectangular siya, mahaba siya one side. So, Nung tinignan ko ulit, nakita ko may mga lines pala siya. So, ang lines siya dapat nakatayo kung may lines. Tapos, yung shiny part nasa ibaba. Tapos, sa taas kayo maglalagay ng rice. Alright? So, playmates, let's start doing that now. Tignan natin kung paano nyo gagawin ang ating gimbap. Okay. So, tingnan nyo muna yung wrapper Mami nyo ha. Silipin nyo. Mami Peng. Yes. Yes, Rain. Ano ba po ang ilalagay po sa ibabaw? Uh, rice lang po. Tulad nung sa video ah, kanina. Yung side, Oo, yung side yung, po, yung side. Uh -oh. side ng Tingnan nyo po yung uh, seaweed, uh, yung gim ninyo, kung meron siyang shiny part at hindi shiny. Kasi kung Japanese version ng binili nyo, hindi ko alam yung Japanese, parang wala siyang lines, wala siyang shiny. It doesn't matter. Pag kinain mo yan, kinain mo yan, pareho lang din nakakain mo, di ba? Kung very particular lang kayo, yung shiny part nasa baba po. Nasa baba, yung shiny part. Tapos may lines po ba siya? May nakikita kayong... Oh, yung lines po, parang papunta kay Rain. Papunta kay Rain. Kung baga tinutumbok ni Rain. Para medyo pahaba. Okay? So, yun lang po. Tapos, try not to press too much on the rice para hindi po ma-break yung mga grains ng rice natin. For gimbap, once you slice it, Maganda po na buo-buo yung rice natin. Now, what kind, what kind of rice uh, are we, uh, can we use for gimbap? I mentioned dun sa video po natin na yung soft na sticky rice. So, yung mga short grain rice. 
Pero kung halimbawa, meron tayo dyan sa bahay na yung dinurado nyo, malagkit naman pag niluluto nyo, o yung kinakain daw ni Kuya Sinina, Coco Pandan, kami naman, Buko Pandan yung nakikita ko sa bahay, that's fine, you can use kahit anong rice. Wag lang po yung basmati, uh, wag lang yung mabuhaghag, ganon. Yung iba nga, gumagamit ng brown rice for a healthier version, okay? So, it doesn't matter kahit anong rice. Ang gamitin natin, but preferably yung sticky po. Sticky variety, Japanese rice, um, jasponica, jasmine, yung mga yan. Yan ang mga magagandang gamitin. And, doon sa video na pinakita natin, maganda na, isiso na natin siya while it is hot para i-absorb ng rice yung uh, seasoning natin. Okay? Now, if uh, hindi nyo type yung lasa ng sesame oil, you can do without the sesame oil and still make kimbap. It just will not taste uh, the same. Pero siyempre, kasi hindi kainin, di ba? So, yan. Dahan-dahan lang po yung paglalagay. Na ngayon, kung dumidikit po yung rice sa kamay, kasi sticky siya, what we can do is, uh, you dip your, your fingers sa konting tubig para hindi po siya magdikit. Or, kung medyo uh, may sensory issues po tayo, mga mga playmates natin, they can use a spoon or they can wear gloves para hindi po nila masyado maramdaman yung yung grains ng rice kung ayaw nila. Okay? Make sure iiwan nyo yung itaas na part about an inch. Huwag nyo lalagyan ng rice yon Okay? Iiwan nyo yung top part and leave a few grains of rice na magiging pandikit natin. Now, kung nagkamali kayo, pwede nyo pang tanggalin yung ibang rice dun sa taas na part. Okay? So, once you're done, let me see if you're done. Para sa ganun eh, we can move to the next, ano, next video. Tanggalin po yung nasa itaas. So, wag po natin pupunuin yung buong gim. Dapat po yung upper part merong space para magdidikit sila. Alright? So, mukhang tapos na ba? Dapat po yung baba. Okay. Yung baba, pupunuin mo siya, yes. Tapos kung may, huwag masyado makapal. Kung dinivide mo yung rice ninyo na 4 cups into 4, so 1 cup is enough. Pero spread nyo hanggang sa pinaka side-side ng inyong gimbap, Macy. Can you spread it uh, on the left and right side of the wrapper too? Spread it all the way to the left and the right. Yes. Not the top. Yung top you can leave it, but uh, the left, what you can do if that's on already one cup, pwede kang kumurot ng konti at i-spread mo lang siya sa gilid. Kasi pwede namang nakikita mo yung parang naaaninag mo yung ilalim ng gim natin or the seaweed. Okay lang yon. When you roll it, it will be still be good. Kahit na medyo manipis. Just make sure you leave the top part about an inch of the top part na, na walang rice. Okay? All right, I think most of them are done. So perhaps you can move on to the next video, Kuya Sinin, on how we can put the filling. Okay, we put the filling in the middle of the rice part, the rice part, middle ng rice part. Make sure yung mga ingredients nyo, kasing haba nung inyong Nori, kung mag-exceed siya ng konti, that's fine. Do not cut it. Pero kung kulang, magdadagdag po tayo. Puputol tayo ng konti para mabuo natin yung mahaba. Kawawa naman yung makakaka, hindi makakakain ng isang filling. Now, we try to put the carrots na i-spread out din po natin. And make sure na habang nilalagay nyo yung mga filling natin, please watch muna, wag nyo munang gawin ha. Make sure na hindi po nakaumbok yung gitna. Siguraduhin nyo na pantay-pantay siya from left to right. So, pantay-pantay yung lagay ng feeling natin. Otherwise, magiging maluwag yung side ninyo kung, kung kulang ang feeling doon. Tapos, masikip na yung center nyo. So, kailangan po pantay-pantay. So, when you cut it, pare-pareho po, even po yung size ng ating gimbap. Alright? So, spread out. Kung ano yung feeling na gusto nyo ilagay, ilagay nyo na siya. Okay? And then, I, I tested it. Okay. Mamaya, we will discuss it. Alright? Playmates, pwede nyo nang ilagay yung mga feeling na gusto ninyo. So, make sure ilalagay natin sila dun sa mga center part ng ating rice. Okay? Not dun sa... Ang basis ninyo, hindi yung seaweed um, seaweed sheet. Kung hindi yung rice part. 
center doon pa, 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 pa horizontal. So ilalagay natin yung mga feeling natin doon isa-isa. I suggest divide natin yung feeling din natin into four. Kung yung rice natin ay eh, divide natin into four, i-divide din po natin yung feeling natin into four. Pero siguraduhin nyo na pag lagay nyo ng feeling ninyo, pag nailagay na siya, siguraduhin nyo na yung rice, yung two sides ng rice, pag ni-roll nyo ay magkikita. Ha? Kasi pag sobrang taba yung ano nyo, hindi magiging center yung feeling nyo. Yung palaman, pag kinat natin, wala sa center yung mga palaman natin. Diba? So ano bang klaseng feeling ang pwede natin ilagay? Maraming pwede po. I mentioned kanina, uh, ay pwede ang hotdog. May nakita ako sa YouTube, nakakatuwa. Filipino kimbap daw. Ang nilagay niya, atsara, hotdog, kangkong, at saka itlog. So kung gusto niyo parang ham and eggs, edi ham and egg naman ang ilagay natin. Pwede rin po tayo maglagay ng cheese kung ano yung babagay doon sa sesame season rice. Yun ang pwede nating ilagay. For those who do not want to eat like my son Patrick doesn't like that. So ang kanya po ay egg, spinach, and carrots. Sometimes kung meron kayong leftover chicken sa bahay, uh, islice nyo lang siya ng pahaba or leftover beef. Beef giniling na gusto nyong ilagay dyan. Na hindi naman nababagay naman yung lasa. Go ahead. If you have fish, anything na gusto nyong ilagay sa loob, pwedeng-pwede po. As long as, eto lang po, dapat hindi siya basa. So usually, the ingredients that we use for gimbap are at least hindi siya yung na, uh, parang basa-basa. Medyo tuyo siya. That's why when we cook the carrots, slightly cook the carrots, pasang hindi siya crunchy, uh, dinry po natin siya while we're cooking, right? Hindi po natin siya nilaga. Instead, We sauteed it in no oil at all para sa ganon, hindi siya dry, uh, hindi siya wet. Kasi pag wet po yung ingredients nyo, magiging soggy yung rice and we don't want that. Alright? So ngayon, uh, as you put the filling there, um, make sure na when you try to roll it, magkikita yung two edge, uh, edges of the rice sa so front nyo and the back nyo. Okay? I will show that to you later. Now, at saka, make sure na pantay-pantay po, hindi po siya mataba sa gitna, hindi rin po siya maliit sa sides. And yung rice ninyo, mas maganda paki-spread nyo. After yung, ano, pag super kapal po yung rice, uh, marami lang siyang rice, konti yung feeling natin. Pag expert na kayo, pwede nyo ng konti an yung rice. Okay? So, I think we're good, Kuya Sinin. Let's move uh, to the, ano, let's show them the, how to roll the gimbap. The video. The next video, please. So now, uh, for this video, we'll be using a mat. But later, I will show you how to roll without a mat. If you look at it, una muna, dahan-dahan ng aalalayan nyo. Habang niro-roll nyo, pinipress nyo siya para maging mahigpit. Hinihila nyo yung front, tapos pinipress nyo, and then keep rolling hanggang magkita yung dalawang, yung dulo-dulo. So now, Keep checking kasi kung medyo malumag pa siya, keep pressing po para maging uh, tight yung ating gimbap. It's very, very easy but it takes practice to be able to roll it well and tight. Dapat po very tight siya para when you slice it later, hindi siya magkokolap. Alright? So that will be our gimbap. Now, uh, this is using a mat. Kuya Sinin, can we move to the next uh, video where I did not use a mat? A mat? For those who do not have mats, bamboo mats, hindi naman po talaga kailangan. Kaya lang, may pantulong siya if you're not used to rolling it para hindi kayo mahirapan. Pero look at this, ginawa ko walang mat. Pumwede naman din siya. So this, I did not use a mat for this kasi baka mamaya mahirap humanap, di ba? I wasn't sure. So, Nilagay ko lang siya sa isang flat surface. Ang ginamit ko yung chopping board na dry. Make sure your chopping board is dry. And then you just spread out the rice like before. Tapos leave the upper part free and then put our pandikit there. Look oh, nasisinag, nasisinag mo pa yung seaweed natin, di ba? So hindi ganun karaming rice ang nilagay ko. The, uh, as, uh, uh, the same as before, lagay natin yung mga feeling natin and make sure hindi siya payat sa gilid. 
right and left kundi pantay-pantay lang po yung taba niya. Okay, so I will be showing you that you can also roll it without a mat. But make sure po eh aalalayan ng kamay ninyo, okay? Make sure aalalayan niyo because the seaweed uh the gim is very ano ang tawag dito fragile, madaling mapunit. Madaling siyang mapunit pero if you support it with your hand and keep pressing and pushing, pressing, pressing para mas tight siya and keep rolling, it's also ano possible. Look, pareho lang po siya, with or without the mat, it's the same. It looks the same. All right. So, playmates, ready na ba kayo mag-roll? Okay, go ahead and roll your game, Bob. Mami Peng, may question ako. Go ahead. E, 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 paano kung ano, wala silang makitang ano? Anong isa substitute natin sa ano sa spinach? Pwede ba? Ah, sa spinach, okay. The gulay, ano? Pwede tayong magkangkong. Hmm. Any leafy gulay. Actually, kahit anong gulay pwede. Nabanggit ko kanina, di ba, may gumamit ng atsara. Kasi, yung ginagamit talaga sa gimbap ay pickled radish, daikon. Pero, baka wala kasi, mahirapan sila. And not everyone likes the taste of pickled, ano, pickled vegetables, di ba? Normally, yan, pickled radish ang kasama. Pero, if, uh, pag nakatapos na po kayo ng isang gimbap, you can make another one habang nagkukwento si Mami Peng. Okay? You make another one, gawa pa kayo ng isa pa. Uh, ang ibang gulay na pwede, aside from spinach, will be kangkong. Kangkong po or any leafy gulay na pwede nating i-blanch tapos isi-season din natin. Lahat po ng gulay natin, kung napansin nyo, ay yung spinach natin, isi-season natin kasi blanch siya para mag-blend yung taste niya with the rice. Isi-season it with sesame oil Mami and salt. Excuse me Go po. ahead po. Yes, nakabili po ako ng radish pickle. So, ilalagay ko lang po siya basta. Yes po, tanggalin niyo po sa water. Make ito, sure na hindi na siya basta. Oh. Meron po siya yes, po. po eh. Ano po ang gamit? Uh, po? Itong brown, this one. Ano po ang Is gamit? Is seaweed? Ah, baka ano po yan? Is that burdock? Parang liquid. Liquid lang po siya. I don't know that kasi mine doesn't have that. Ah! Yung liquid po sa loob? Uh, kulay brown. This one po. Ito, itong po. Ah, ito. baka ito po. po I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's burdock. Ginagamit din po siya sa gimbap if you want. Ano Google po? Translate. Parang sauce? I don't know po. Parang sauce? Maybe not. Yun lang po ang ano. Uh, yun lang pickled radish. Kumuha lang kayo ng isa. Tapos isama nyo siya with all of your ano uh, filling. And Il ilagay nyo lang po siya. Ito pong ang tawag dito, yung fish, ano yung isa pong yung ano? Ah, okay. If you use, if you use fish, ano, uh, fish cake, hindi ko po nasabi kanina, you need to prepare that po. For fish cake, i-slice niyo po siya ng strips, tapos lulutuin niyo siya sa konting toyo, konting tubig at konting asukal para magka-flavor siya. We season dip din po. Ah, so, if you want po, yung ground, ground meat. Pag naluto. Ground, okay, if you want ground meat po, I would suggest... Hindi po, itong fish plate, ano to, fish something. Ano fish po ito? Cake. Oh, fish cake. Pag po siya niluto sa toyo, sa oil, sa oil, tapos salt, uh, ang magiging itsura niya, parang ground meat. Ganun Ay, hindi po. po. Bu buo pa rin. Buo po ba to? Ah, buo Opo. po. Buo pa rin okay, siya. Okay. Para siyang strip. So, i-slice so, din po siya ng strip. Kasi ngayon yes, po ako nakakita nito. Sorry po. Okay. May friends. Uh -huh. Ito po ngayon na ako nakakita nito. Slice into, slice into strips. Tapos po, uh, ilagay nyo siya sa pan. Lagyan nyo ng konting oil. Tapos, pwede kayo maglagay ng konting bawang. Tapos, konting toyo, konting asukal. I-absorb niya yung, yung, yung sugar and the soy sauce. Tubigan nyo ng konti. Ha? Alutuin niyo lang siya for a few minutes hanggang lumambot siya. Pero uh -huh. dapat hindi po siya sa soaking wet. Dapat matuyo yung nilagay niyo. Tapos, uh -huh. konting seasoning lang po. Ang sarap po niya if you want to saute it with gulay. Uh -huh. Hindi niyo na siya strip na gagawin kung hindi parang square-square or triangle. Tapos, igisa niyo lang siya with gulay. Tapos, lagyan niyo ng konting soy sauce. 
sugar and sesame. Tapos lagyan oh. yung konting gulay. Pwede rin po siya. Okay, Ay, good. Ako, <laughs> <laughs> so, marami po sa sa YouTube tingnan niyo how to use okay, uh, okay. fish cake. Oh, yung uh, ready pwede... po. Iano ko siya ng tissue para matuyo bago ko ilagay. Yes po. Yes po. Or ipa-drain niyo lang po sa strainer tapos bago niyo po siya. Try tong radish kung magugustuhan nila. Yes, oo. Actually, ano po siya, masarap siya. Nakakatanggal siya ng umay. Parang yung atsara natin na ginawa. Okay. 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 Good job, Dika. You're welcome po. Wow, Christian is uh, already uh, rolled one already and on his second one. Good job, Christian. What about you, Rain? How are you doing, Rain? Ito na po yung aming finished product. Wow, oh, meron na kayong isa, no? Parang medyo payat siya sa gilid, no? Rain? Thanks for so, understanding. Oh, yeah. Wow, let me have a look at yours, Calvin. Wow. Okay lang po lumamas yung mga ingredients yung sa left and the right side dun sa opening. That's fine. Good job, Calvin. Basta wag niyong gagawing payat yung gilid niya. Otherwise, when you slice it, you will know what I mean. Sasabog po siya sa gilid. Okay? Yes, good. Good po yung kay Adrian, pero make sure na kung anong taba niya sa gitna, ganun din po yung taba niya sa side. Okay? Para even po yung size ng gimbap natin. <laughs> Is that Mommy Grace? Hello, Mommy Grace. Anyong? Okay, so for those who are finished already with their gimbap, you can make more roll nyo pa po. But so anyway, let's watch the video again on how we can slice our gimbap. Total na kapag roll na kayo na. How many? Tika, tika, wait lang po. Fiona, were you able to roll one already? Fiona and Jaden, nakagawa na po kayo. Okay, good. And I see Mateo has already made his. Sayang Mateo kanina biglang sumabay yung yung aso sa ano kahul ng aso when you were doing pa sa intro. But it's okay. We heard your voice anyway. Okay, so uh, uh, Kuya Sinin, can we have a look at uh, the next video, please, on how to slice our gimbap? Actually, wala naman pong, um, ang tip ko lang when you're slicing the gimbap is that if you can divide it, parang i-gauge nyo how many slices you want to do, Kapag tight po pagkakaroll ng gimbap natin, pwede kayong mag-slice ng mas manipis. Pero kapag maluwag ang pagkakaroll niya, magko-collapse po siya. Normally, they remove the ends, yung ends na kung saan uh, lumalabas-labas yung feeling natin. Uh, pero, siyempre, if you're going to eat it at home, baka yun ang unang-una nating titikman, di ba? Make sure, ang unang-unang tip ko, very important one, is that your knife is really, really sharp. And do not press too much on the gimbap. Baka po ma-flat siya, hindi na siya bilog. So, dapat po mariretain natin na bilog yung gimbap natin. So, make sure na sharp yung knife natin. And pakiramdaman nyo as you slice. Don't force na maputol siya. Uh, Unti-untiin po natin at aalalayan nung kamay natin. Uh, I, I, when I watch YouTube, ang sabi po nila, it's easier to cut two gimbap rather than one altogether. Magkasabay po. Dalawang magkasabay na gimbap. Sabay niyo daw i-slice. Siguro parang nag, parang nagmimiss to lang kalso or parang it keeps it from rolling ano, pag dalawang pinagsabay natin. Uh, I forgot to show you before you slice it and you, if you still have uh, sesame oil, you can brush it with a little bit of sesame oil. Kung wala po kayong pang brush, pwede po maglagay ng konting sesame oil sa kamay at idadab niyo po Iro-rub nyo po sa gimbap nyo. Parang to keep it from drying, the seaweed from drying. At the same time, it gives it a, a certain flavor. Uh, very Asian flavor po. Uh, additional flavor po yung sesame oil natin. Irub nyo po siya ng konting sesame oil. Very lightly lang. And it makes it look shiny. Diba? Pag shiny, parang mas um, appealing, mas masarap siyang tingnan. Okay. So, i-brush pwede na po tayong mag-slice pero if you have uh, if you want to brush your gimbap with sesame oil, pwede naman po. Lagay lang ko sa kamay and then i-dab nyo po. Tapos and then you can start slicing it. But you have to ano, decide 
on how you you want it um how thick you want your gimbap to be if you want it like um parang two thirds of an inch pwede rin po or if you want three fourth of an inch pwede yung nakikita ko binibenta nila sa supermarket kasi maganda yung pagkaka-roll talaga no parang isang daliri ganun lang kanipis eto lang yung gauge natin the gimbap is usually eaten isang subo if you can put one in your mouth and chew it, then tama na yung size nyo. If you bite on the gimbap, magko-collapse na po siya. So, dapat, yung isang gimbap natin na isang slice, you have to slice it na kaya nating isubo ng isang beses. Okay? Shoot lang sa bibig, tapos nguya na po. Alright? So, uh, as I said, dapat po, very, very sharp ang knife natin for our playmates who are not used to using uh, a knife and who is who are scared of using knives please ask your ano mommy your uh, your assistant your ate your kuya to help you cut the gimbap and when you cut slowly lang don't force it down okay slowly pakiramdaman nyo para hindi madurog yung ating gimbap and right after you slice it ipo-put dalhin niyo na po sa side put it on the side good job sigrid uh, very good. Oh, galing ni Sigrid mag-slice. Oh. And I think si Mami Litea is still ano, pressing hard on the gimbap. Ano ang difference ng gimbap sa sushi? So yung sushi po is Japanese and with sushi, they use vinegar rice. They add vinegar and sugar and a little bit salt. But for gimbap, we use sesame, sea, sesame oil and salt. So, yung seasoning po doon nagkakaiba, pati sa feeling natin, yung laman, di ba? Pero just like sushi, ang dami-daming version na ng sushi, marami ding version ang ating gimbap. Pwedeng all vegetables, pwede po siyang all eggs, kung ayaw niya talaga, then just add eggs in it. Tapos, uh, pwedeng leftover food sa bahay, mga roasted chicken, mga beef. Himay-himayin lang natin siya or slice natin into strips. You can add that to your gimbap. So parang ano, may bago ka na namang dish, di ba? And sabi nga nila, yung mahilig sa kimchi, if you're in a hurry at wala kang feeling, ilagay mo daw yung kimchi. Of course, you have to drain it a bit kasi medyo watery yung kimchi. I -i -i Squeeze out yung water and then ilagay nyo yung kimchi yun na magiging feeling ng inyong gimbap. And it is, will still be called gimbap because gim is the seaweed uh, sheet and uh, bap means rice, so it's a seaweed rice roll. So gim bap. Sometimes it's spelled with a G, sometimes it's spelled with a K, but they're both the same. Gim bap. All right. So kumusta na po tayo? Did uh, you start slicing your gim bap na? Okay. Make sure. Uh, dahan dahan lang yung slice. Don't force it. Uh, tapos, huwag yung pilitin, ma-slice naman siya kung matalim yung inyong knives. And, ilagay nyo na agad sa plate bago siya mag, ano, mag-durog. For our, um, if you're using crab stick, pwede nyo hatiin, pwede nyo buo. It depends on you. Um, kung gusto nyo marami talaga ang feeling, nipisan natin yung rice na ilalagay. Yung halos nakikita mo na yung ilalim ng seaweed natin. Manipis lang yung rice at tagdagan nyo yung feeling ninyo. You want to add more ano, uh, seasoning? Go ahead. Kung If you feel na kulang pa yung uh, sesame oil na nilagay natin, pwede rin po. Some people, before they roll it, they sprinkle the rice with sesame seeds. Additional flavor po tayo doon. Others, they sprinkle the sesame seeds on top of the gimbap just before they eat it. Um, meron ba tayong dipping sauce for our gimbap? Actually, because everything in the gimbap is seasoned well, hindi na po kailangan ng sauce. Unlike the sushi where we dip it in soy sauce, pag tinikman yung gimbap nyo, season na siya, may lasa na siya. But if you, uh, if you still want to dip it in soy sauce, go ahead. Nobody's stopping you po um, as long as it's not too salty for you. Okay? So now, if you decided not to, yung mga iba nagmamadali naman, ayoko nang isison yung gulay ko, ayoko nang isison yung ganito ko. So what you can do is you just add a little bit more salt and sesame oil to your rice. Tapos lahat ng gulay mo wala ng seasoning. Like if you use cucumber, sabi kanina ni Rob, hindi siya makakain ng, uh, ng spinach dahil bawa, di ba? Or posibleng walang mabiling spinach sa palengke. 
So if you're going to use cucumber, ang gagawin lang po sa cucumber, isosold nyo ng konti. After you cut it into strips, you put a little bit salt. So you let the excess water come out. Tapos, tanggalin nyo siya. And then, you cook it in in a pan na walang oil para hindi na siya ganun ka-crunchy and to remove further yung uh, water niya. So just like what we did with um, carrots. You can also season carrots while you're cooking it para hindi siya super tigas yung crunch niya. We cooked it a little bit but we don't want it soggy and overcooked naman kasi a-absorb uh, niya yung water. Nung ano. Maganda yung pag kinakain mo yung gimbap you can taste yung firmness ng ham, yung spam, yung crunchiness ng gulay natin. And then they blend well together. And all the flavors blend well together. So, ilan na kaya nagagawa ni Ate Agus natin? Andrea, are you done? Finish na po ba? How many did you make? Wow, Andrea made four. Is that four or three? Pag maraming rice ang nilagay niyo, baka three lang magawa niyo. Pero pag... Uh, equally divided or panipis yung rice so you can even make five gimbap. Anyway, one pack of seaweed is uh, 10, has 10 sheets, okay? So, pwede tayong gumawa ng marami pa. Pag may leftover kayo, tapos yung kanin nyo na, kaya lang ano, o nga, no, lagi nilang sinasabi sa mga vlogs na it is better to use rice that is freshly cooked. Siguro ang idea dito, hindi magandang ilagay sa gimbap. Yung parang, alam mo yung pag day old rice na, yung kahapon na leftover natin. Ang tendency is for the rice to dry up, di ba? So, ang gusto kasi dito, we want our rice to be moist. So, right after cooking it, we season it na. So, kung may leftover rice tayo sa bay, what can we do? Mm, perhaps put a little water and heat it up again and then season it? I don't know. Maybe we can do that or you can try, oops! You can try uh, doing it and let me know kung ano, okay? So, see grid. How is it? Did you eat one already? Wow! Ang bilis naman ni Sigrid mag-slice. I saw her slicing a while ago. She seems very, ano, um, very skillful with the, with the knife. Sanay na sanay si Sigrid. How is it, Sigrid? Is it good? Alright. Glad you like it, Sigrid. So, Joshi, how are you doing there, Joshi? Okay, you're doing well. How many... Wow, you've already cut your gimbap. Nakaslice na yung gimbap niya, you know? Good job, Joshi. I see Patrick uh, slicing the gimbap. Be careful with the knife, Patrick. Okay, if you're not very, uh, if you're not used to the knives, please ask someone's help to do it. Okay, you might slice the, ano, the gloves. Don't eat the plastic, okay? So let's have a look at Christian. I see, uh, Wow! Let's have... Wow! Good job, Christian! Oh, medyo makapal yun sa'yo. I hope they fit inside your mouth when you put one inside your mouth, Christian. Good job, guys! Okay, let's have a look. Calvin, how are you doing, Calvin? Can I see your kimbap? Calvin, where is your kimbap? Show Mami Peng. Dami! Wow, naka-arrange na siya sa isang square ano, that looks um, Asian. Very Korean-Japanese. Uy! May, may box pa si ano? Si Adrian! Ang ganda naman! Ako ready, ready for the photo challenge. Okay. Share that with the family, Adrian, ha? Oh, si Mateo naman. Uy, ang dami. Malalaki yung kay Mateo na gimbap, no? Very good. And what about you, Fiona and Jayden? Marami yung maki. Yes, Mateo. Marami? Konti lang? It's lang how many? Oh, how many did you make? One. How many? One. One? One. Okay, I see you still have a feeling there. Maybe later you can make more. And Fiona and Jaden, dami pang natitirang crab stick, oh, sa harap. Okay. So, mamaya gagawa pa kayo. Okay? So, the whole family can enjoy your game, Bob. Oh, ayan, yung kay Gio naman, parang medyo small. Mukha silang sushi. Cute, cute naman. Wow, naka-arrange na sa plate. Oh, very good. Good job, Gio. Oh, let's have a look at Kendrick. 
Yes, bite size. Kasi pag maliit yung bibig mo, you want it small. When you, pag may kadate ka pala, nasa public place, kain yung itagimbap na malaki. Naku, siguradong yung chick mo, di ba? Nakagayan siya while you chew on it. Kasi pag binite mo yung gimbap, minsan mag, maaano na siya, magko-collapse na ma, yung feeling niya lalabas. Ang kaganda, okay. thing, no? complete meal na siya. Eh, no? May kanin, may gulay, may ulam. Diba? Correct. Pwedeng ulam natin. O, Migi, kumusta na, Migi? Let's have a look at your gimbap. Wadaming nagawa ni Migi, oh. Good job, Migi. Good job, guys. Galing. Galing, Migi. Wow. Okay. And... What about, oh, gumagawa pa si Rob, help mommy make your gimbap. <laughs> okay, may nagawa na si, ano, yan, ang camera mo nasa harap. Good job, Rob. Good job, mommy Risa. <laughs> Don't press too hard, mommy Risa. Baka yung rice natin ma-flat. Maganda bobo yung rice natin. Let's have a look at France. How are you doing, France? France is still making. Wow, good. Helping, no? Pero, mommy Peng, make Uy, oh. ganda, oh. Ang ganda ng gawa ni France. Mommy Peng. Thea also, very nice. Nasa center yung feeling ng kay Thea. Yes, Kuya Sinin. Yung ano, kunyari, gusto mo, hindi mo muna i-slice. Paano mo siya i-store? Para hindi masyari. Ah, good question, Kuya Sinin. If you're not, if you made, ano, like four gimbap, di ba? Tapos, isa ka lang kakain. Ayaw mo muna siyang slice. What I can suggest is, kung meron kayong cling wrap sa bahay, i-wrap nyo siya ng buo. Don't slice it yet. Buo siya, uh, brush it with sesame oil, and then wrap it in cling wrap para hindi siya mahanginan. And then, put it inside a uh, an airtight container. Kung wala kayong cling wrap sa bahay, dahil ayaw nyo nang gumamit ng plastic, ganon, just place it inside an airtight container yung yung nalalock sa gilid, di ba? And then, put it in the refrigerator. Just before you eat it, ilabas nyo, mawala yun nyo yung lamig, you don't have to heat it up. Wag yung, hindi nyo kailangan initin kasi ang gimbap naman pag kinakain, hindi siya mainit. Okay? So, hindi nyo kailangan initin but make sure lang nasa airtight container siya or i-wrap nyo siya ng plastic. Ako, what I do, I wrap it in cling wrap at the same time, put it in an airtight container and I put it in the refrigerator. Yung unang labas nyo habang malamig siya, medyo tumitigas yung rice kasi merong certain varieties of rice, di ba? Na pag lumamig na, matigas na, pero pag ininit mo ulit, lumalambot. Meron namang rice na malamig or, or, or mainit, pareho lang ang texture niya. So it depends on the type of rice, on the variety of the rice that you use. So for me, make sure that it's airtight ilagay sa rep and then i- 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 leave it outside muna bago kainin para mawala yung lamig and then that's when you slice it. Uh, I also realized that when you slice it with the plastic, parang it holds the shape better. Pag may plastic, you slice over the plastic. Okay? So that's how you will keep it in the refrigerator. Kasi if you slice it all now uh, at mamaya nyo pa kakain, I suggest you put it in a container na Tapos, uh, i-cover ninyo siya. Ilagay nyo sa airtight container, i-cover nyo. And then, leave it there lang. Kung mga one or two hours na lang kakain nyo na siya, you don't have to put it in the refrigerator. Remember, we have ham there and ham has a preservative in it, by, uh, inside it. Diba ang ham? Nagtatagal yan. And then, we also season your uh, ingredients with salt. Even the rice. That's why Koreans love to bring it to picnics or binabaon nila sa school Kasi nga, hindi siya agad masisira. And they love bringing it to picnics. Uh, tulad nung tayo, di ba? Kung nagpipiknik tayo, anong unang ulam ang pinipi- ginaga- uh, dinadala natin for picnic? Di ba? Adobo. Mm-hmm. Normally, we bring adobo. Kasi ang adobo is cooked in soy sauce and vinegar. And yung mga yon nagtatagal, hindi siya agad mapapanis kahit mainit ang araw. And then, we also bring something that na pwede natin iihaw. Naisip ko nga, ano, so for Koreans, they have gimbap. Parang binibili to sa convenience store. Pag gutom ka, bibili ka ng isa, and then naka-slice na siya, naka-foil. Abang naglalakad ka, you can eat it. Mm-hmm. Of course, in Japan, they don't like you eating when you're walking. Bawal daw. Ayaw daw nila yon Parang very unethical. Ano? For Filipinos, for Chinese, meron akong tinatawag na yung suman na may laman sa loob. We call it matsang. You have the rice, parang adobo siya, tapos may laman sa loob, and Pag bininisim mo yon, kompleto na siya, may ulam ka na, may rice ka. And for Filipino, di ba meron tayo no binalot? 
di ba, babalot nila, may atsara, mayroong adobo, tapos babalot nila sa dahon ng saging yan. Or, for ano, for Americans, ang kanilang ano, easy to bring food, eh, mga hot dogs, mga sandwiches, oo, hamburger, madali, di ba? For Koreans, probably this is it. Ito yung kanila gimbap ang kanilang dinadala. And then they eat it with uh, preserved, uh, preserved radish, yung daikon, or they eat it with uh, kimchi. Kasi yung preserved radish nila, iba-ibang shape. Merong pang gimbap, merong bilog, iba-ibang korte ng mga radish nila. So ngayon, because people make a lot of gimbaps, very easy to make, laging pwedeng bauin ng mga bata. You can even buy ham na naka-pre-slice na pang gimbap. Tapos yung kanina yung radish, naka-pre-slice na siya. So, ang dali-dali na daw gumawa ng ganyan ngayon. So, I bet pag natikman nyo yan, eh, pag may leftover kayo, itatry nyo din. At let me know kung masarap, kung ano yung feeling na nilagay nyo. Hot dog, pwede rin kung gusto nyo. Alright? So, kumusta na ang ating mga playmates, Kuya Sinin? Kinakain na eh. <laughs> Baka wala so, na kayo reflex ha. Masarap ba? Masarap ba? Can you give me a thumbs up if you like what you made? Wow. Pagka, pagka po sumasabog yung gimbap nyo when you slice it, that means hindi ganun ka-tight ang pagkakaroll nyo. So when you roll it, siguraduhin nyo na tight. Each step of the way, roll a bit, press, roll a bit, press, and then roll finally hanggang mag-meet yung ends ng ating, ano, ng ating uh, seaweed uh, wrapper. Mm. Alright? So are we done? Yes. Okay na po ba tayo? I-plastic lang po kung hindi pa kakainin. <laughs> I think Sigrid is enjoying her gimbap. <laughs> Alright. So I think we're good. Kuya Sinin, everybody's almost done. Oh. We're kung good hindi na. Nyo, oh, kung hindi nyo pa po natapos, you can continue later. Mm -mm. Okay. Very colorful ang mga kimbap natin, ha? O, tikman nyo na muna. O, pero tinikman na nila, Mami Peng. Pero wag nyo ubusin. Ayan, may bago na tayong pwedeng baunin sa mga picnic. But before that, ligpitin muna natin ang ating mga kalat. Okay, next Saturday. Let's talk about next Saturday's uh, um, activity. Next Saturday, we have a group of volunteers who will be facilitating an online game called uh, Free Rice. Join us so you can help give rice to those in need by simply playing the game. I think for this ano, uh, this month or hindi ko alam how, how many months that is, all of the rice that, uh, that will be generated because of the game will be given to Ukraine. So, but uh, you need to register playmates because we will be grouping you into uh, teams. So, iba-ibang team tayo. Unregistered playmates will not be allowed to join the game. So, playmates, this will be fun. So, don't forget to register. Oh, kuda ka na time na. Playmates, let's all move closer to the screen. Flex your kimbap and make a Korean heart hand gesture. Okay. Okay, prepare na ito tayo. Yung, teka, ito yung Korean heart gesture, ha? Alam nyo naman yun, di ba? Okay, let's make that. And then hold your give up with your other hand. Oh. Let's have a look at you. Ayusin natin wait, wait, sila, wait. Kuya Sinin. I'm still okay, habang nagpiprepare si Kuya Sinin, uh -huh. let's have a look at your give up. Okay, remove your gloves. Very Meron good, Christian. Um, Sigrid, if you hold your hand with one plate, can you do that with your other hand? Ganyan, oh. Yes, okay, that's how we want it. Tapos, mag-heart tayo. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, wait lang. Wait lang. Si Franz is not ready. Patrick and Angelo, can you do that? Show your gimbap closer. Show your gimbap and can you do a heart like this? Guys, can you do a heart like this? Like this. Just put your two thumbs together, overlapping. Gimbap. Okay. Aha, di kaya. Wait lang, wait lang, di kaya. Can you do it, Patrick? Just put it like that. Or Angelo can do it. Okay? So, alright. I will count. In 3, 2, 1. Flex your kimbap and smile. Heart gesture. 
Okay, another one. Galingan nyo. <laughs> okay. In 3, 2, 1, smile. Okay. For a photo challenge, kanina nag-iisip ako, one photo flexing the gimbap and one photo showing you eating your gimbap like that. Oh, so, we'll be asking for two photos, ha? One photo flexing your gimbap while doing the Korean heart sign. Pa cute! Tapos, yung isa naman ay kinakain niyo yung gimbap niyo. So, choose a well-lighted spot and send us the square photo. Square photo po ang padala ninyo. Uh, not later than Tuesday, 12 noon. Okay. Another well-spent afternoon has passed. And today, we learned how to make a kimbap, our introduction to Korean culture through food. Thank you, Mami Peng, for teaching us this easy-to-make baon food that is a complete meal by itself. And thank you, Ate Abi, for the technical support to make Zoom run smoothly. And thank you to our playmates and their loving families for the support that you have been giving to Autism Society Philippines Pueday Activity. And lastly, all together now, thank you for helping build an AOK Philippines! AOK Philippines! Bye! Yay! Annyeong!